This is the ADSR module that I've been working on lately. I decided to make the PCB go on this direction instead of parallel to the main board because it's a little bit larger and it's larger because I included uh, a couple of things additionally like an SR latch to be able to to latch um, a trigger signal and uh, continue with high sustain uh, actually with uh, long uh, release time for the complete duration of the step but uh, generally this is the attack this is the trigger input signal this is the output and this is the inverted output and this is the attack uh, decay sustain uh, and release and this is the um, sustain trigger accent uh, level so this controls uh, the the level of because if you plug in here sustain control voltage this is like an attenuator to it and uh, I could also connect it to attenuate the release time but I decided that uh, the sustain level is more important to be attenuated and uh, this chip here is for the buffer for the output and the inverted output and these two transistors are for the SR latch and a couple of resistors here as well so let's see how it goes this is like basically the gate signal with very short attack and uh, very short release and you can see how the shape changes A very short decay and very long release trigger so if I make the release time for all the steps very short you can see that only for this step which uh, I have only one step on the sequence which has a long release and this is controlled by the second sequence you can see the diode here shines longer on one of the steps so you can create a variation in the melody that way and you can use these two connected to the sustain level also see how only one step has higher sustain level than the others and with this you can attain a, attenuate this effect see now the difference between the sustain level between the steps is lower And uh, for the release control voltage, it's best to connect it to an LFO to demonstrate how it works. That's why I created this latch option because if you connect it to uh, another sequencer and you want to increase the length of the release only on a specific step, you have to latch this trigger signal to, to keep it for the full step. Otherwise, you have to provide a constant 
control voltage all the time and this LFO now provides a constant control voltage which varies but it's uh, it's always applied voltage but with different value and you see how the length of all the steps is affected and it uh, becomes uh, longer and shorter so this is like a random variation makes the sequence a little bit more interesting and you can also pr also attach the other things as well so I could also connect the sustain accent to the sequence Variable. If I disconnect all these control voltages, we are left only with the bare sequence, which also sounds nice in some ways. But if you want to create a variation, you can use that for that. version of the ADSR envelope generator this part is uh, almost the same like the original schematic it's just a trigger conditioner this capacitor along with these uh, two resistors and diode create this short pulse for the attack time uh, yes the attack time I mean the maximum attack time you can control the slope of this and you can actually make it with another potentiometer here to control the maximum uh, attack time so maybe that could be useful but it just becomes too much potentiometers for a euro rack model and uh, but this part here creates the full the full length of the trigger signal the gate signal and i added another chip TL 070, 0072 uh, to be able to buffer the output with the op-amp because uh, in my previous version of this schematic I buffered it with uh, emitter follower transistor set up as an emitter follower and it works fine but uh, the op-amp just picks a bit more voltage so the maximum voltage with an emitter follower will always be uh, one diode drop lower so around six seven hundred millivolts lower and the op-amp can pick the full voltage level and also by adding this op-amp I have another op-amp so I use it for an inverted envelope and this could be quite useful because you could use the inverted envelope to make uh, compression effects 
on another VCA. Uh, you can use the inverted output to control uh, voltage control amplifier to lower another signal when this goes high. This part is for the attack time. Uh, this is for the decay and this is for the sustain it sets the sustain level this is the decay time and this is the release time if I change any of these values now the attack should be shorter and uh, if I change this the decay should be longer and the release is controlled uh, by uh, this transistor and uh, I made it like that in order to be able to use low frequency oscillator or another envelope to control the release time by control voltage. Also on top of that I added this part here which is an SR latch uh, because I wanted to be able to to have a trigger signal and uh, when the trigger signal is applied I wanted to to make the release time as long as possible the longest uh, and here with this uh, potentiometer you can choose how much the release accent time will affect but let's uh, just put it on maximum for now to test it and if the trigger signal is applied here the release should be long until the next step shouldn't go down you see how the release is long if I remove it the next step will have a normal release time this SR latch is basically like a one bit memory a bit too much parts for just one bit but uh, that's um, how I managed to do it with just uh, simple transistors and uh, resistors because I didn't want to use any logical uh, chips because they usually come in packets with uh, at least four or so something like that so I should get a chip with four or four SR latches at least to make this and I just needed one but uh, the way it works is when the gate is applied here and this is the attack so this is the maximum attack time and from this point it began it the the decay starts from here and this signal this part of the envelope is applied here so when the voltage is applied here this transistor becomes activated it grounds this part here but by doing so it also grounds the base of this transistor that way if you apply voltage here this transistor becomes deactivated actually because this becomes activated and uh, the voltage is drained and so this is like short circuit so this is ground level when the transistor is activated and if this is ground level then also this becomes ground level so this transistor is disabled and then this becomes 12 volts and the cool thing is that the transistor is self-sustaining itself because if it's activated this transistor is activated and this is not activated so this is 12 volts but this is connected to the base of this transistor so it's self it's self-sustaining and then if I apply the trigger signal here and this trigger signal should be after the or they might be simultaneously but this trigger signal should be at least a little bit longer than this time here but this time is very short so that's not a problem but if you apply voltage here then it's the reverse this transistor becomes activated and this is ground level so this makes this transistor deactivated and uh, if this transistor is deactivated this becomes 12 volts so if this is 12 volts then uh, then the the release time is long and if I 
remove the trigger signal for the long release time on the next step this reset because this is a SR latch it stands for set reset so in my case this sets it and then this resets it on every step it's being reset and then if you apply a trigger signal it's set again so this is like the one on the memory this is when the memory has one stored in it and this is where and if this is one then this is zero so now the memory stores zero but if i set it it stores one and then this signal resets the memory and puts it back to zero that's how the sr latch works and i added this capacitor to just delay things a little bit so it doesn't trigger by accident or something like that it makes it a little bit more stable so i entered this schematic in KaiCat. this is the um, the same schematic the release transistor the decay transistor and this is the sr latch and i made the pcb which will be available on my Patreon. This is the SR latch. And as you see, it has this whole part here is only for the SR latch. So it's a lot of elements. So that's why I decided to create a simplified version. This is the simplified version. Everything is the same except for the SR latch. The PCB is smaller as a result and it has uh, around eight less resistors and two less transistors it's uh, quite a bit more compact but i also decided to create one more version which is even simpler without this op amp here this is the simplest version here the um, release uh, the release is also controlled by a potentiometer which is connected here this is the potentiometer from here to here for the decay and this is the potentiometer for the release from here to here because i am uh, using now this transistor as a switch not as a variable current drain thing and uh, this allows me to to spare this op amp here which was just used to control the transistor and now i'm using it to buffer output but in this version there is no available op-amp for the inverted output but still I think it's a pretty good schematic because you have a full ADSR envelope with just one op-amp like the original but uh, this version has also a decay so I will upload all these PCBs and schematics and keycard files to my Patreon. So this is the module. Maybe it's a little bit too much stuff going on with all these uh, control voltage uh, triggers and stuff. Uh, th so that's why I created the other versions which are simplified. Uh, I think maybe the most optimal version is the one without only the latch uh, but uh, that has the inverted output and the release control voltage because this SR latch is using a lot of the space on the board and it has a lot of elements only for that function but I think it's also nice to have it so uh, but that's why I created uh, two other versions so because you don't usually need this functionality in all of the ADSR envelopes but maybe it's nice to have one or two like that and the others might be simpler but I intend to uh, make uh, one more of this for my synth and uh, so that's uh, what I have to show you for now good luck and bye